lens cover. This is Randy Thompson coming to you live. This is Susan Faulkner Evans on Bo and Trudy Adams on Miss Annie. And we're working on our canters now. Needs more activity. That's it. So you're going to do, think of, we're going to play with that exercise. You're going to play with, can you get them to do a leg yield type of thing at the canter? Into a shoulder in type of feeling? Into a half pass type of thing. We're, exp we're exploring what other trainers were watching. I'm watching videos of other people and uh, one of the trainers, what he does is every time he rides a horse, he always takes them through the process where they start with every gait. They do a leg yield and a shoulder in into half pass, into some kind of a turn around the haunches, like a pirouette type of thing. Good, take your time. Needs to be softer on the bit. And more forward. Yep, more activity. That's it, more activity. That's it, he's gotta be a lot more supple in his neck. Good, oh, that's what he thinks of this. All right, so which movement are you gonna play with? Okay, cantering's a good one. So those of you who have been following Bo, you know he's had a lot of issues. He came to us with a lot of issues. And uh, he's much, much better now. It's taken us four or five years to get him to this point. But when we ask him for new things, stuff still comes up. And Miss Annie, she's still a little green at times, so today she doesn't feel like cantering. And <laughs> she's showing Trudy what she thinks about it. She's been kicking up a little bit and acting up. And that's all right. It's part of the training process. And some days they do it more than others. Some days they don't do it at all. And we just play with it because the training process is our enjoyment time. And we want it to be that way with the horses too. Good. Take your time. Just make it a game. Good, Trudy. Praise her. Praise her. Yep. Remember to praise them. Good. That's all right. That's all right. It's going to take a couple times. That's right. Make sure they're really loose in their necks. That's it. It's something in the air. That's right. We've had very rainy weather today, so the horses are feeling all kinds of stuff. Now, Bo, we're asking him for more things, like we're asking him to position differently in his canters. All right. She's cantering with a shoulder in feeling now. More activity. Good. From here into a half pass. Half passes are nutable. Are nutable. Good. More activity on his outside hind. His outside hind should be in between his two front legs. Good. Good. Tap, tap him with your calf. That's where he gets you to start doing that thing with your seat. So if you feel yourself waddling, you know, like a duck type of a thing, that's where you've got to add a little, get them to react more from your leg and your uh, stick. Good. And here, okay, Trudy, now you're going to add the feeling of a shoulder in or a, or a leg yield type of thing to what she's doing in the canter. It's not going to be pretty right now. We don't care. That's all right. I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to get behavior. Just trying to get her to canter, that's right. So this is not Annie's home. So she'll act up a little, and that's all right. That's what horses do. So we're just riding through the process. So you can see what might be happening to your horses, too. Good. It's hard, isn't it, to add these movements right away? Good. And you're also going to include in there some stretches, Susan. So see if you'll stretch on the outside rein, on the inside rein. And you don't have to do that yet, Trudy. No, I, have. I, I want her to stretch some. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right, Trudy, you do. I know I'm, I'm working on different stuff. Yes, it's a lot. It's a lot at one time. Good, soften his jaw. Soften his pole. And the reason we keep asking for so many changes is it keeps the workout more interesting for them. And it challenges you to keep doing different things. Good, Susan. Good girl, Annie. Good girl. Oh, she stretched and she didn't buck. Very good. I don't know if people out there in the audience understand this, but sometimes they just have a bug up their butt. That's right. That's right. They do. So she said sometimes horses just have a bug up their butt, we call it. 
So Annie's going to be doing training level at rated shows this year and schooling shows, and Susan will be riding bow in first level and second level. And he was, in 2013, they were fourth at the USDF Nationals in the training level championships for amateur owners. Good, Susan. That's it. Needs to be more active behind, but you'll hear that forever. That's it. Check to see when he'll give you a little bit of a stretch. Good, good. That stretch really loosens his back up, doesn't it? Good. Okay, now you're going to start doing a half pass into a quarter pirouette with him. Just playing with it. Bo hasn't done a canter pirouette at all before, so this is just the beginning of him starting to get more comfortable with yet another training exercise. We don't expect it to be right. We just are asking him for new things. Oh, good, Susan. Praise him. Praise him. Good boy. That's it. And then change leads. Go to the other direction. Remember to add the stretches. Good, Trudy. She could be a little bit more connected, but I know you're just hoping that she'll canter right now. That's it. Good, good. It's all right. So for both of these horses at the level they're at, it's like the 10th lesson we've done where they've actually been connected at any level, especially Annie. So she's been on contact. This is, like I said, maybe the, it might be the 8th or 10th, one of those two. Time that we've asked her to stay connected from Trudy's reins to her legs in the canter, and that's a very difficult change for any horse. Good, keep them more active. Sit, 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 sit. Good boy. He seems to like that, doesn't he? He's starting to have fun with his riding. You take your time, if your energy is low, it makes sense, it's been seven minutes. Most riders can only canter for three or four minutes, so you know, all right, Trudy? So this is the first day that Bo's done any attempt at getting close to doing a canter pirouette. Good boy! Okay, give him a walk break. That was good. Keep the walk active. That's it. Do you want to take a walk break for a while, Trudy? Yeah, I'm just going to do a couple more canters. All right. That's right. Good. Okay, now remember that outside rain. Positions her where you want her. Praise her. Good. It's all right. It's all right. She's going to fall apart a lot. We don't care. Again, this connection is new for Annie to be connected from Trudy's rein to the leg. So Annie's not really sure why Trudy's holding on her face. See, you can see Annie doesn't like her holding on the rein because she's been going like a green horse on a loose rein. So now we're asking her to stay on the contact as much as we can as a result of her stepping up from Trudy's legs. And it's a big change for any horse that's going through this change in the canter. Good, good. Praise her. It's okay if she can only do a few steps. That's right. So she, what she's saying is that she wants her to listen even when her friend leaves the ring. So, no, but it's not ugly because she's, remember, this is the 10th. We're under 10 lessons that you've asked her to stay connected at the canter, right? In fact, it's probably closer to 7 with her. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a connection exercise. It'll be, you know, she probably still can't figure out what you're trying to do. And that's where she should be. So you're just playing with it, making it an enjoyable experience for both of you, letting her know that everything's going to be okay in the training process. You're just playing. You're just teaching, building the foundation for everything in the future. More activity in your trot. Good. That's it. Take your time. Remember how you counted for your halt? You should count 10 steps before you canter. Is she prepared? 10, 9. Eight, seven, sit her back, C count, that's it, count backwards. That's right, and yes, do you see how that set you up different? That's it, that's all right, count, 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 count. So what they're doing is they're counting 10 steps up or down into any transition so they make sure their half halts are there in place to show the horses where to go.